Hi everyone, and welcome back. Tom Slavik, I'm with Jerry. How you doing, Jerry? Good morning. Okay, and Jerry Swift, and uh, great lady, and uh, Jerry's husband comes on as well. He's up at the bowling alley, right? Yes. Great guy too. We were just up. Remember when we used to have the uh, uh, the pencil things out in by the cedar mill? Yes. That was, that was a long time that ago. That was a long time and ago. And he was a manager there, huh? Yes, he was. Great that times. was great. You know, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> we'll get we'll get this big crush. We have a long segment. But uh, I think I a lot of the the wood around my house came from there. I have a lot of cedar in the yard and stuff like that. So, man, they must have had this on sale or something one day, right? It's kind of amazing, went down. isn't it? And times yeah. have changed, and you see those things, and you remember what the area used to look like. And, right. You know. And it was a uh, big dimension. It was like you know. Big, 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 thick, big, thick, big, thick dimension cedar. stuff. You, I've looked before for stuff and I, I can't find it. So I got all this big stuff. That was from the old days. That's right. Anyway, we're talking about the big crush, believe it or not. And the big crush is a, is a great, great uh, thing. And Jerry's here to talk about it. It's this weekend, so I think we want to remind everybody. And uh, Jerry, yes. I think I set your mic up wrong. Uh-oh. Maybe set I set it up. It up. I think, I think it's on. Side? Can you hear it at all? Tell me. Okay. okay. Tell me said he fixed it. Great. We were having a lot of fun out here. Okay, we go back. Your son was on. It was a, with our our show. It was a, we were in the switcher for a while and did all that kind of you stuff. Marcus did that in high school. Wait, I know. That was a long time ago too. <laughs> eh? I'm getting pretty long in the tooth. Okay, <laughs> so we're talking about that, and it's this weekend. So I think we're up here for a final reminder, right? Yes, it's the third and fourth, the Saturday and Sunday, from 11 to 4. And it's 42 participating wineries, and it's called that's, the Bay Crush. That's a lot of places to go to, so you probably want to get those two-day tickets. <laughs> yeah, two-day tickets are great because you can visit um, all the different wineries. We have food. Some people are having bands and uh, little demonstrations, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. And you get to, basically the wineries get to put their best foot forward. Okay. Yeah, welcome people in. Okay, and it is. And before I was saying, you must be the spokesperson for these wine events and everything. He said, that's when you really love what you do. I do. I love what I do. I'm very fortunate. Um, my dad's a fantastic grape grower. We've got Cooper Vineyards. And um, I've lived there, you know, in the area all my life. And I just, I'm, I'm fortunate to be a part of this. That's right. And Cooper is, uh, is a lot of people. There's so many wineries. I'm sure a lot of the wineries are. But Cooper's is, is a lot of people's favorites. I remember, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Mike Merzlak is in here, and I'm pretty sure that this was his dad's favorite. Uh. <laughs> he likes Primitivo. <laughs> huh? He likes our Primitivo. <laughs> right. Here you go. See, you remember. And uh, so this is, is really great. Now, what time does it start? When, when do people... 11 to 4. Okay. And you can get um, tickets online, I believe, still, and they're also at the door at um, some participating wineries. And uh, it's kind of fun. It's, it's just a blast. We come now, in. what's so special about going to the Big Crush? Well, it's, um, it's kind of like a showcase for everyone to, uh, you know, we're going to do a demonstration, I guess. You, what can I say? It's a, it, the best way for everyone to say, this is what we have. You know, we're releasing a okay. couple of new wines. Come see what we do. Um, basically, come out and visit the wineries. Because I think a lot of people, they maybe visit just their special ones. Well, this way you get to see what else is out there. Yeah. And it's kind of an opportunity to kind of jump from one place to another. You could do a lot of tasting, and Cooper just might not be your favorite. <laughs> well, you know, the you truth know, is, there's right? a lot of taste for a lot of people, and I think right. that's, that's what, what we're what fortunate saying. about, yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, uh, and it is really good. And so, uh, also, it's, it's around the crush time, right? Yeah, we're still picking. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The leaves are changing. You can see, you know, it's a little bit cooler in the morning, and... And it's it's just a, it's a nice time of year. It's perfect for getting out there and seeing what's going on. So okay, so it's, it's really uh, uh, cool to be able to get that many wineries, 42. So that that would be a lot of wineries to visit, right? <laughs> it's like 20, 11, 20 plus one. It's kind of exciting. I know. It's 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 just the opportunity is there. And um, like I said, we're gonna everyone's gonna do something different. We're gonna have food that day from Motherload Market. And that's going to be fantastic, and it's going to be paired with two of our different wines, and so that's going to be nice. And our winemaker, Michael Roser, is going to be doing um, demonstrations on punch downs out on the crush pad, and he'll answer questions. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of people, when they go out there, they want to have a designated driver. 
Yes, that's right? a good idea. And what do they have like for designated drivers to go out so they feel uh, good? Well, you buy a wristband well. and that entitles you to the food and to partake in that part. And we also have sodas for people and that type of thing. And most most wineries are all supposed to have something for everyone. Okay, so that's good. So they're uh, a good time uh, for the designated driver and maybe uh, they can go to the next wine event. Uh, and trade off. And trade year. off. That's what sure. you have to do, right? <laughs> okay. And. Uh, What's your favorite part of the Big Crush, Jerry? Um, I think what's fun is just people say, oh, I haven't been up here. This area is so pretty, and, and it's so close to Sacramento, you know, it's, and Lodi's close, all these other right. different areas, but people, do, they don't really realize what we have here in Amador County, and I just, I think when they come here, they're really surprised. And uh, people are friendly. That's the other thing. We have a lot of um, right. locals who I work in the tasting rooms. That's what I hear all the time. People say, wow, it's so, it's so good because it's we're not... Uh, is uh, rushed or is busy, mm -hmm. and uh, the winemakers have a lot of time. The people in the uh, in the tasting rooms, and uh, so we just don't feel like we're being yeah. pushed through there. Yeah, it's very nice. The other thing is, um, you know, like my dad. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no. I was just going to invite Richard. He, he's oh, out there sure. and uh, invite Richard to come on in and, oh. and talk as well. Uh, another thing too, and Richard could probably talk about this is like uh, this is a the wine. It's a big uh, contributor to our economy yeah. here in Amador County, right? Which probably knows about that. Hi, Richard. How, How are, are you? you? I'm great. How are you this morning? Good. I, I didn't want to come on set because I didn't see a bottle open, and usually it's not inviting unless a bottle's oh, open. No, okay, too early, huh? <laughs> Evidently not. Yeah. One of my, uh, one of my wines that I just need to come really on. like, but th there's a lot of wines that I like, but Cooper's... Uh, the really good okay. varietals in there that I like, and this is one of my favorites. Yeah. Let's let's what, what throw some other Alicante, names out there as well. Alicante Boucher. Alicante Boucher. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. I think if we get going down the 42 list, we probably won't remember them all. So, uh, and and Jerry, sir. So you make it out to the big crush a lot? I try, but the, you know, there's so many people there, and I can go other times where there's not so many people. Right. But you do have a lot of extras that go on this weekend too. We do, and I think people really enjoy that. And the extras are what? The music and the food? Music and, and food and, uh, you know, like my dad will be cruising around, you know, he signs bottles and it's kind of that same type of thing and that's what the other wineries do. So mm -hmm. basically it's it's to, it's a meet and greet to, to see what we have to offer and I just think people are, are really happy when they get out there. I think that's true. Um, although, I mean, this one, the um, Barbera Festival, that sells out right away. Is yes. the Big Crush pretty well sold out now? No, I believe they still have tickets available. Okay. Yeah. So we need more people to, to buy tickets for that, and this is um, probably a good time to go then. It's the uh, Barbera Festival. I can never get tickets because they sell out so fast. It's, Brian and Deidre do a beautiful job. That's mm -hmm. quite an event. And this one, though, is basically the same kind of structure where they have music and food and things like that? Mm -hmm. And it's put on by the Amateur Vintners Association. Okay. And it, this, um, this handles a lot of our advertising throughout the year, so it's, it's, a, it's good for our little AVA group. Mm -hmm. Beautiful poster as well, isn't it? And uh, I'm sure Tommy can get on the poster, but that's really nice. There, who's the designer for the poster? Because they're always a great poster. I don't know. The, the gals at the AVA office handle all of that. But mm -hmm. I think it's really nice, and it's um, it's a great poster this year, and I think it's it's representative of a lot of the different wineries, so it's kind of nice. It, you don't look at it and say, oh, I know where that is. It kind of it's it's welcoming, I think. Everyone mm -hmm. is included. How many, um, the Big Crush goes on all across Amador County, right? All of the wineries? Yeah, all of the wineries that are part of the ABA. You have to be okay. a part of the association in order to participate. Here's the thing, uh, I just want to, it's easy to find out where to, uh, how to get there to the different wineries as well. They have beautiful signage out there now. It's been there for a few years, but that is really uh, pretty, you know, the signage that goes to the wineries. Yeah, can, can you go on Amateur Vintner's website and look at different things as far as the, the different wineries and the mapping out? And also what they have to offer. Oh, all right, all the information is on there, and it'll tell you which, which place. A lot of people will say, okay, I want to eat at this time, or I'm going to go hear the band here. Because sometimes, okay. um, you know, they'll play for not necessarily from 11 to 4. They'll have certain times that they will do things. So it's definitely uh, great to look on their website. And who is playing? Did you guys already talk about this? Who's no. playing at Cooper Vineyards? We're not playing music this time. Oh, no, okay. we're, we're, we're doing food from Motherlode Market. Okay. Catering. 
well, that's mm. something different because each winery does something a little bit different, right? Yeah. There's going to be uh, music at some venues and food at some and both at some, so yeah. a little bit of everything. So right? I would uh, say hop on the website and uh, set your itinerary. Yeah. And what is the website? AmadorWine.com. Yes. Okay. That sounds great. Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 4. 11 to 4. Now, you've got a lot of people that show up early and want to stay late. <laughs> They don't stay too late. Four o'clock's a good time because, it, you know, everyone's kind of winding down. I definitely suggest to bring a cooler to, you know, if you find a wine selection that you really like. So be prepared so it's not sitting in your car getting warm. You know, there's nothing worse right. than, right. you know, not having your wines protected when you go home. It's always nice to experience what you had that afternoon and say, mm -hmm. wow, this is great. Yeah, because the worst thing you could do is put it in a car that's 100 degrees on the inside. Yeah. And leave it there all day long. Yeah, and it's disappointing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a great event, as usual. Um, so October 3rd and 4th, the quilting show is then, too, so you can, uh, you can go to the quilting show, go get some wine, go back to the quilting show. Sounds nice. Yeah. We always have a lot going on in Amateur, Amateur County, so We're that's for lucky. sure. You bet. That's yeah. for sure. nice thing about um, all these wineries is they're, they're local. Most of the people, most of the owners are there, and you can talk to the owners. And the winemakers, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's friendly, and I think that's what people need. They need to come out and see what and we have And they're to all offer. close by. Yeah, and you know what we need right now? We need to take a break. So. Okay. So we're going to go to a break, and we'll be right back with TSPN.